Hi, my name is Eric Frick and welcome to my class, The Beginner's Guide to C-Sharp. In this class, I'll take you through all the basic elements to get up and going right away with the C-Sharp programming language. This class is designed for beginner programmers and I'll take you through step by step what it takes to learn the C-Sharp language from scratch. Once again, welcome to the class. In this class, I assume that you have no prior programming experience. So if you've never written a single line of code and you're interested in learning C Sharp, then this is the class for you. It is intended for beginning developers, so if you're an experienced developer, this is probably not the, the class for you. Learning to program requires practice, and in this class, there's a number of lessons that will add step-by-step -step more and more elements to your beginning program so you become familiar with the C Sharp language. So there's plenty of opportunities for you to practice and learn the language. Specifically in this class, we'll talk about how to install the tools. I'll show you how to go out and get Visual Studio Community Edition 2017, which is a free download, and how to install the software. Next, we'll talk about what a console program is and why we'll be using it to do most of the exercises in this class. After that, we'll write our first program, the traditional first program in most programming languages, Hello World. Then we'll talk about all of the different language constructs of C-sharp. I'll talk about comment statements, input statements, methods, if statements for conditional logic, and loops for repetitive logic. Next we'll talk about data types and the different data types that are available within C-sharp and when you might use them. We'll also talk about exceptions and how to write exception handlers to handle basic error conditions in C-sharp programs. We'll talk about more conditional logic with switch statements and another data structure that's commonly used, which is arrays. I'll also talk about some of the features that are available in Visual Studio, such as outlining. Next, we'll talk about using statements in the libraries and how you include them for access in C Sharp. I'll also talk about file input, output, strings, dates and functions, and in the last part of the class, we'll talk about object-oriented programming and basic inheritance, which is a key part of object-oriented programming. In the first part of the class, we'll add step-by-step -step code fragments to a larger example program that will demonstrate each of the constructs of the language. In the last chapter, we'll take all of that and put it all together and build a demonstration program and use all the different elements that we've taught in the class to date to have a more comprehensive example so you can see a complete working C-sharp program. By the end of this class, you'll be familiar with most of the major constructs of the C-sharp programming language. You'll be able to construct C-sharp console programs and be familiar with Visual Studio. You'll also be familiar with the edit, compile, build cycle necessarily, necessary to build software. If time allows, I'll extend this class to other parts of the C-sharp development language, such as WinForms, WebForms, and service-oriented architecture and development. Thank you so much for attending this class, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.